Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Remember, we are using the Ascension levels this time. Unfortunately, we lost our streak once again. Lazarus is a no from me. My semi we did recently. Zach we haven't played in a while. Let's play Zach. Zach is a fun boy. We're trying to rebuild. We're trying to go again. But yes, we are using the Ascension levels. Uh, so far, most characters are going to be on Ascension 1. Just meaning that... Um, ooh, Chili Bean's actually not terrible to get as our first item here. Uh, also, did Zack get, like, some sort of visual rework? He looks a bit different. He's got, like, an eye patch. One second. One second. Maybe I'm just a goober. He doesn't look the way I remember him. But, yeah. Honestly, Chili Bean isn't terrible off of the bat. Chili Bean is not terrible. Um, but we are... We're good to go with this guy. We'll give him a go. We'll try and rebuild our streak. I really just want to try and get a 10 streak. Eternal chests can be a little iffy, but we'll try it. Essentially, for those of you that don't know how this character works, by the way, essentially, each room, you get um, one of these poker chips here. Oh, God, hello. Uh, you get one of these poker chips here, and um, the more of those you have, the better chance you have for a good reward. Uh, but you can pop them whenever you want using snake eyes. Uh, and essentially, the whole idea is that... You want to save up enough to try and get a good reward, or you could gamble low and have a higher chance for a bad reward, but you could also get more, um, good rewards. Like, it's it's kind of a trade-off. So you've got to really play it to your strengths and, and find out where exactly you want to be using Snake Eyes. Uh, I believe if you hold them for too long, you will take damage. But yeah, look at that. That's, that's not bad at all for Chili Bean there. Um, for the question of the day today, we'll use Snake Eyes here. We've got to tears up. Hell yes. Um, for the question of the day today, uh, I am about to go on holiday next week, so where is, what, what's, what's your ideal holiday destination? Like, what is somewhere that you'd love to go, even if it's just for a week? I think I've maybe asked this before, but again, it's been a while now. There's new people here. Um, but I'm going to Greece, and honestly, I've been to Greece before as a young child, but I've never been when I can remember it, and I'm so... So, so excited to go. And it, like a lot of people go on holiday for the weather or go on holiday for um, the activities you can do or the sights you can see. Nah, I'm going specifically for the food. <laughs> Greek food is like my favorite food of all time. Like I'd say Greek and Italian are like two of my top tiers and Greek is definitely very high up there. Um, and plus, my parents have already been there before, so it's really good. So, I'm just really excited to go and get some really authentic and brilliant Greek food. I'm, I'm just so excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Dad's Lost Coin. Honestly, a luck upgrade won't, uh, won't go amiss. It's not bad. Um, we can use our money to uh, get some more chips if we want. I think it's three cent per chip. We'll go do that. Um, I'm going to keep the, the, the bomb penny just because we have no bombs right now. Uh, I could use the chest here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We got blind rage and a pill. We got another tears up. Okay, tears are looking real good. Um, yeah, so let's let's do this and get some more chips. Okay, snake eyes. Our opponent. We just got an enemy that time. But yeah, let's let's car let's keep her on going. Got a lot of trinkets this floor, sadly. Not much we can do about that. But I tell you what, I tell you what, regardless of my holiday antics and stories that I've just been going on about, I've been playing a, a new game recently. It's not really a new game, but it's a game that's new to me. Um, it's been out in a free demo for a while. It's just recently come out in early access. Um, I've been playing Brotato. You should, you guys should be seeing it on the channel by now um, as of this episode coming out. I think I'm already on holiday as of this episode coming out, I think. I think I'm already on holiday, because um, I'm pre-recording quite a lot. Uh, but yes, I, um... See, Chili Bean's pretty good. Um, I've been recording Brotato. It just came out, like, the other day. And oh my god, it's so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. That was very close. Which ghost are you again? Okay, yeah, no, you're the Chasey ghost. Chasey ghost is fine. Do you know, I think Chili Bean, the one thing it could do if you want to buff it a little bit... Because uh, it is decent as is, but the one thing you can do if you want to buff it a little bit is make it recharge over the course of a room, even if it's quite slowly. I think that would be quite nice. Let's pop our snake eyes here. We got a damage down. I mean, luckily it's really not a bad damage down at all, so I'm not going to fret. 
I'm not going to worry about it too much at all. But a damage down is still pretty saddening. Still not what you want to see. But yeah, I've been playing Brotator. And it's kind of in that vein. Uh, there's been like this sort of... I, I, won't, I don't really know what to call it. It's sound, kind of a resurgence. It's not really a resurgence because it didn't really exist before. But this, this new awakening of, of a new type of roguelike over the past, like, year, sort of, few months. Uh, and it's the one, sort of, like, the, um, vam is it Vampire Survivor? And, um, 20 Minutes Till Dawn? It's in that vein of game where it's, like, you just, there's, there's just, like, endless waves of enemies coming at you and you get upgrades over time, sort of thing. Um, and, oh my god, I'm just enjoying it so much. I, I recorded, like, three episodes of it the day it came out, because, yeah, it's just so much fun. Oh, I love the fact that I was able to kill all those guys so easily. Okay, nice. Get another chest there as well. Ooh, some mini Isaacs. Sadly, no themed mini Isaacs for this guy. Beautiful. It's just, I love it when you can get the chain reactions going like that. <laughs> like, look how much damage we've done to him with just ice. Chili Bean is on fire right now, and I know that makes no sense, but it, it is. We'll pop our snake eyes again, and we got bankrupt. That just took some money off us, I think. Um, but we got a good amount of tears up there. We're going to keep her going. But yeah, this character is very much a gambler's paradise. Got to roll the bones. Let's see what you get. Don't know how these guys work, so I'm a bit scared. Okay, this thing... Um, spawns an item that gives us broken hearts, right? So I'm actually pretty up for that. I don't, what I don't like about it right now is that I can't fucking see anything because it's massive. I maybe need to turn it onto tiny. You can actually change the size of the uh, text there. Also, I didn't know if you hold tab, you can now see your uh, active item's uh, description, which is really useful. Beautiful. Calm down, you. What are you doing exactly? Ooh, that's what you do. I like that attack. Open your gobble. There you go. Right, let's let's use this. And we got sausage. So this will give us some broken hearts, I think. It didn't. We got lucky. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. We got one of the best all stats up we can get early on, which is really nice. I love it when you freeze an enemy and they're um they're in like a really funny like animation, like part of their animation. I think that's great. So, it seems to be that it freezes enemies with lower HP, and it slows enemies with higher HP. That seems to be the way that it's working for me right now. Oh my lord, this guy's doing some bits right now. Luckily, he's a little bit weak, so we got able to get him. But yeah, like the smaller enemies here just instantly got uh, frozen. Limpit's really good as well here. Basically, money's going to give us stat upgrades. Okay, so no, maybe not then. Maybe it's just a random chance because that enemy didn't, uh, didn't thingy at all. Oh, boy. I really don't want to lose my morbid heart here. I'd very much like to keep that. Okay, we did freeze one of them. Not a, not a very good one to freeze, to be honest. It's going to be kind of hard for us to uh, make use of that. I'll try it, though. It kind of worked. Okay, we're good. We got ourselves uh, a judgment. Well, we might, might as well just spawn that here. I'm just going to bomb you. Why not? And yeah, I'll open that up as well. We got another card. Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm going to ace a wand in this room if there's a good amount of enemies. There is. And it's my voice. Huzzah. Okay, good, good, good. Don't think we need the shop right now. Shops are pretty useless as this guy, unless you just want more chances to roll. But yeah, Ace of Wands is just pretty good for the protection, of any, uh, if anything. Ah, oh, Dom, Mick. Damn it. It got me. It got me. We're on to the yellows with our thingies now. We maybe, we'll save up until red, maybe. The highest possible chance to get a positive reward. More bombs is lovely. And Limpet's giving us a bunch of stat upgrades too. Really nice. 
I think now actually is a good time to go spend our money. Let's just use Snake Eyes here. And we got... So I don't even know what we got there. We got Fragile something or other. That might mean we take full heart damage for the rest of the floor. I don't know. But it's, it, it is a little sad that sometimes you get a negative effect when you save up so much. But that is that is the luck of the draw. You just, you've got a higher chance for something positive. It doesn't mean you'll get something positive. You've just got to accept the fact that that's the case. Now, these guys are boom boys, aren't they? They are indeed. No explosives for me, thank you. Eternal car battery. Again, another pretty good uh, active, uh, trinket there. But right now it's not for us because we do not want to lose our active that we currently have. Take this fella out. Not bad, not bad. Damn. Our boss items haven't been great so far. We'll take that, I guess. Fill up our morbid heart as well. And away we go. Oh, do you know what? It's really, really cold at the moment. My hands are freezing. Not nice. I really, I don't like the cold. That's, that's another good question. Sort of question of the day style question. What's your preferred temperature? Ooh, this room's very nice. We just need a lot of keys. <laughs> We get ourselves Possum Ear, which does give us Burn Hearts. We'll take two Burn Hearts there. Okay. Um, we'll open that for now. We got ourselves Mum's Contact. Awesome. And we'll get that. For each astrological... We do have an astrological item right now, don't we? Oh, no. Fucking... I thought, um... Magic 8-Ball would count. It does not. Bombs are key. That's pretty good. Holy shit's pretty nice here. Why not? Look down. It's whatever. And that's fine, too. We'll come back to... Actually, I'll say we'll come back to this. We just got bombs are key. That's kind of exactly what we're hoping for. So we'll open this up. Hope it doesn't take all seven, but it's looking like it's going to. Sadly, no items, but we got health out of it regardless, so it's kind of nice. Oh, my limpet thingy destroyed. We get ourselves one of those. We also get ourselves an item here. The converter, which is kind of interesting. Give ourselves another thingy here. <laughs> Bunch of bombs here. Another eternal heart. Okay, this is a good a good chest so far. This thing's paying out. And it gave us an item. It gave us fear. Okay, that was fantastic. This room was great. <laughs> this room was really good. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just insta-killed that enemy when it came back in. Health down. Honestly, considering we just got um, a thingy I... Uh, uh, a health up. I don't really care too much about a health down. It's not great, but I, I'm not going to be super sad about it. Okay, we do have a planetarium here. Rather nice. We get ourselves Pluto. So, now is the time where I think we go back and get the astrological item. Um, trinket. Because that should give us some tears up. Does it? Let me have a look. It gives me a tears down. Scam. <laughs> Absolute scam. It gives me a tears down. What's that about? I think not, game. I think not. That's very rude of you. That is very, very rude of you, game. How dare you offer me a tears down in my trying times. Much more bombs. God damn. So many bombs here. 
We are losing a lot of our wisps, but I honestly don't really care anymore. We've set ourselves up for success. Right. Shop-wise, we will play this. We only got to play it once, so we'll uh, pop Snake Eyes. We got Cursed, sadly. We'll pop this because we've got three rooms here. We might not get anything good for it, but we'll try it out. Sadly, literally nothing good so far. Not even a room reward. We did get another shop, but the poker table isn't uh, isn't on. That was, a, that was a little bit of a waste, sadly. I will buy this as well. We got the sun, which is... I think it's mapping for a few floors and it removes your curse. So I'll definitely take it. Right, we're checking here. Consumable-wise, we're doing really well. Um... Kind of a tricky one, this. I think I'm going to go this side. Just because I don't really want the spicy key. Magic Mush? Damn. So rare. So rare. Very rarely see it nowadays. I'm actually really surprised at how well Chili Bean is doing right now. Hematemesis isn't great for us, really, but whatever. Dear. Tears Down didn't even do anything. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what's going on with our tier stat right now, but it's been a bit funky, to say the least. Oh my god, every single one of those guys froze. What do you do again? Tinted rock here as well, lovely. Health-wise, we're doing fine as well. Beautiful. And we got a second secret room here as well. Yeah, the sun card was very good for us here. Now, this thing... I was just about to say, I, I could go for a few soul hearts on this thing, but we, we played it once, and it was like, no. <laughs> no, you won't. And then we got the emperor card. I'll take that for the next floor, at least. Oh, my God. Shooting a frozen enemy into a boss. I didn't realize before how much damage it did. An opponent. We just got two enemies. That was it. We got an angel deal. We got a damage up here as well. Awesome. Rosary is fine by me. Pretty happy with the rosary. Uh, I'll bomb you as well. Why not? I'll also, while we're here, bomb all of these. Ooh, I didn't realize the Angel deal had a bit of a change to his attacks with that mod. I really like that. So much more thematic than firing feather shots and stuff. I like it a lot. Just adds so much flair to the game that, that should... That like, it's kind of like it should have been there already, but I don't... I like I forgive Edmund and, and Kilmer for not adding them just because of the game's already so large. But it's so much better to have them. Right. We have made it to the next floor. Item off the bat here. Act of Contrition is really nice. I'm also going to open up these. I like opening up the uh, the Mimic Chests now if I've got the extra HP to do so. Because they do actually have an item pool now. The extra chest item pools from my mod and then the other mod that does a similar thing. They just, again, add a lot of flair to the game. It's great. Ooh, we got a um, thingy disc from Random Pools. I think this is the one that we just use. Decent. Calm yourself, you. Taking damage will spawn a Mamma Mega Explosion for the current room. Works only once per floor. I think we got enough bombs. Let's just grab that. Because also, this, this can allow us to get into boss rush if we miss it as well. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of locusts during this time with this item. It's the planetarium one that we have. Gotcha. Would you ignore Snake Eyes for a little bit? Oh, hello. We got a Soul of Lilith here. A little Steven's really nice. We got Piggy Bank, pretty good. I really like the hollowed out rocks. It's just great ways to take out rooms. I should maybe save it for a boss, though. 
think they're probably better boss killers. Crack this open. We got ourselves a red rune here. I will take the red rune for now and see if we can make it work. It would have been nice to have found that a second ago because I would have taken piggy bank. The snake eyes. Hey, we got ourselves um, soul of cane. I'm gonna solo cane here, why not? Oh, Mama Megat. I accidentally Mama Megat. Hey, perfect. We got both of the rooms that lead into the secret room here. Golden Bomb, kinda nice there. Now, interesting. We got Havoc, uh, Vault of Havoc. I quite like Vault of Havoc. I think we should take it. Passively stores killed enemies can be used as soon as you get 12 charges. Brings you into a special room with 12 most recently killed enemies. Clearing the room spawns a reward to, based on total HP. I really like our chili bean, but we can red rune it. Um, which also apparently destroyed all of these guys, interestingly enough, and gave us the coupon. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, um, Vault of Havoc is a very interesting one, I have to say. Especially on Fiend Folio, nevertheless, because it spawns the 12 most recently killed enemies. So I think on Fiend Folio, that's going to get pretty wild. I think that's going to get pretty damn wild. Thank you. We have their uh, golden bombs this floor, so I'm not super, super worried about it. I really like these ghosts. They're really cool. Yeah, if I didn't have uh, a lot of bombs right now, I, I wouldn't probably want to use Havoc Room, but... A Vault of Havoc, whatever you want to call it. But I will. Boom. So let's use it, and it's going to spawn a bunch of enemies. Oh, it actually spawned us some bombs anyways. That was rather nice of it. See, that was very worthwhile. Nice. And then we can leave this room and we do it over again, essentially. We've not found our item room yet. Let's go back for that. Nice second secret room. Horse pill. Relax horse pill is pretty damn good. It's essentially like a half card against humanity. We already got an eternal heart out of it. Snake Eyes gave, gave us a dice shard. Decent. Petrified poop. Just a little bit too late for petrified poop there, but <laughs> thank you nonetheless. Right, we'll take that. We'll maybe use the dice shard in the item room, our boss. We'll see. We are on depth one right now, yeah. Okay. Don't know the best way to kill this room, to be honest. Not too hard at all, apparently. Not too hard at all. Here we go. Here's our iron room. I miss Chili Bean. I do. I really miss it. Uh, we got something dark. Luck dart, I think. Luck affected chance to fire uh, tears that inflict enemies with hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging enemies periodically take damage and spew blood. Ooh, that sounds good. We'll take that. Lawn darts. We also have a thingy room here that bugged out, as always. Justice. Justice. Suck it all up and give us an item. It did give us an item. It gave us inner child. I'm going to dice shard it. Ooh, clear rune. Clear rune. I think clear rune could be more interesting, but we don't have a um. We don't have a way to use it yet. I mean, picking it up does give you a rune, so. Yes. Yes, that I will take for now. The the havoc bolt is good, but this has so much more potential to be interesting. Especially if we get some other types of um, other types of runes along the way. He's hemorrhaging. He's hemorrhaging. 
Do, 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 do. I really like the darts, they're good. And we got some salsa. Uh, and we're good to go. Our health is looking very good right now. <sighs> I do like a hot salsa. I haven't had salsa in a good while, though. Oh, yes. My friend um, makes salsa, and oh my god, it's so good. And he's, I, I've definitely mentioned him before, he's the person that um, I eat hot food with. <laughs> um, like, I have a really, 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 really high spice tolerance, so I, I really like hot food. Um, but many people can't stand, can't withstand the amount of heat that I would stand. But luckily, I have one friend that does, so whenever we want, like, really hot food, we want to go for a hot curry or something, he's always the person I go to first. So, as you can probably imagine, um, making salsa, he makes it quite hot, which I really like. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't uh, suit all the guests or all the people that are eating it, but it suits me just fine. Holy shit. Holy shit. Does Bla doesn't Black Rune do room damage as well? I can't remember if that's correct. Let me let me find out. I'll, I'll wait until this big room here. It does. Okay. So we, we have a Necronomicon effect as well if we want it. So Black Rune's a pretty good one to grab, really. We got the something dice. Um... I'm just going to use my snake eyes to get it out the way. Speed down, that's whatever. Old dice. Upon use, rerolls current item. The current item being picked up into a random passive does nothing if you are not picking up an item. If drops to pick up another active can be used while you are picking up the active. The wording of that is confusing. As I understand it, if we pick up an item and hold it above our head... And then use old dice. It rerolls it into a passive item. I I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with that. That that, that confuses me. I want to see what's underneath it. I don't need my money here for anything. So I'm just Blunker's hat's good here. We don't need glowing hourglass. Yeah, that's that's very confusing. I have absolutely no idea how that really works. We got a limpet again here. Ooh, the hollowed out rock works with the uh, clear rune. Hell yes. That's going to be a lot of fun. Although it doesn't give us as much opportunity to get stats. That just seems like a lot of fun. That just seems like a whole hell of a lot of fun. Not exactly necessary, but we'll take it. Beautiful. We're also firing lawn darts like crazy right now. Oh, we got we can get into our boss trap room and and our curse room. That's a very very good benefit. Excuse me. How did this one not? Really, it missed by like an inch. God damn yeah, we are throwing darts like a mo fucker. Oh, I have to rebomb it. Are you kidding me? It's just a HP up, but I guess I'll take it. Why not? I like the fact that a lawn dart makes them hemorrhage, but a fucking nail? Nah. <laughs> Launch an eight-inch nail into someone. Nah, they're not going to bleed from that, but a lawn dart? Oh, that is, that's going to make you bleed. <laughs> find that hilarious. Oh, my Mama Mega went off. I don't know why, but I'm thinking, like, this has never happened to me before. A, ma a premature Mama Mega. Whoopsie. I didn't mean to Mama Mega. This has never happened before. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the Gilded Key. The Mama Mega thing's good, but we've, we've already accidentally used it on this floor, which is kind of what I was saving it for. Okay, you need to calm down, my big sir. My big fella. We're also still freezing stuff, apparently. I'm guessing that's from the chili bean 
Yeah, that's from the chili bean uh, locust. Just helping out nicely. Snake eyes. Jackpot. We got three whole pennies. What a jackpot. Yeah, I'm liking the hemorrhaging effect, though. It's working out really nicely. I don't know how long this effect lasts. Does it just last the whole room? Either way. Okay, no, it's not the whole room, but it is good, though. And it will destroy all the rocks as well, which is kind of nice. And I don't know where we're going here. I'm just going to take Polaroid. Let's go. Polaroid and bounce. Eh, I'm not really up for just one golden chest here. Need something a little more spicy to come my way. I wonder if they can be hit by their own hemorrhaging shots. Like when a when a boss is like hemorrhaging like that, can, the shots they're spewing above themselves can they land back on themselves? I don't rightly know. There was an eternal heart there. Can you die? Thank you. It's taking quite the beating. I just stood right in front of that. I made no effort to get out of the way. Hey, yeah, this is a good way to clear rooms. I like it. God, I love having Spelunker's hat. Being able to see a room ahead is so nice. Obviously, being able to see secret rooms is also really good. Ooh, we got a golden... Uh, tears up. If you're about to take fatal damage 10 to China, health bar is converted. Ooh. I wonder, how much of a tears up is it? It's another tears up that's actually a tears down. This is confusing me. Can anyone suss out why the hell that's happening to me right now? I keep finding tears ups that are actually tears down. Makes no sense to me. Absolutely none. I want to know how they made the rooms where, um... Ah. I want to know how they made the rooms where you, um... <clears throat> get absolutely wrecked, my sir. Where you have to kill all the enemies before the next one spawn. Oh, that... I did not know the effect carried through into other rooms. That's very good knowledge. Also, Mask of Infamy here is very nice. Ow. Um, yeah, knowing that, I, I I might use it a little more often on the smaller rooms, to be honest. I might just use it on charge, pretty much. Because, yeah, being able to carry it into the other rooms is really good. The room not over? Okay, the room is over, good. Yeah, like, just use it in this room here. It's going to kill pretty much everything. And we get a few procs of it in this room as well. Only one for this time round, but that's pretty good. Oh, God. Some fairly hard enemies in here. Hemorrhage, you fool. This room's kind of tr kind of tricky. Really like this enemy, though. Okay. Through here we go. Just, I love the noise of all the lawn darts being launched. So many of them. These cyst enemies are really cool as well. I mean, I'll check this because it looks secret roomy. But, there you go. I probably should use that a little later, to be honest. I don't think Skrullix is going to take too much damage from it. I mean, actually, did a good amount. Honestly, um, Chili Bean as a Locust has been really, really helpful. Doing a very, very good job. Ooh, Cat and Nine Tails, very nice. And 9% chance to drop in a Tail Heart when taking damage. It's alright. I bomb this as well, why not? Yeah, it's decent, it's not great. I need to be careful with my health. I haven't really been doing a good job of, of watching my uh, watching my health. Yes. 
That is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Damage up, nice. Yeah, now we got a solar Lilith. It is a 12 room charge, but still worth it. And we kind of get the first one for free as well, because the first one's only a four room charge. We have so many various freezing type effects. Greg the Egg! Hell yes! Give me that Gregothy boy. Gregory, my good lad. Come on, Greg. It's me and you versus the world. We just need more ways to get batteries and then we're solid. Oh, hello. What's this little nubbin that you've spawned? I was not aware of the nubbin. Double keys. Not super useful. Managed to freeze that guy before he even spawned. Good, good. Any charges in here for me? Damn, I was hoping for a uh, battery, battery beggar. Because that would have been mental. <laughs> That would have been so useful. Give me a dice shard. Does that, what does a dice shard count as? I don't actually know. I think it counts as a rune. But I'm not entirely sure. Binky. That's pretty good. Is it going to give us a tears up? No. Didn't give us a tears down though, so that's, that, that's something. At least it didn't give us a tears downs for some reason. I love some of these unique enemy sounds that we've got going on with some of these guys. I love it like some of these unique enemies as well where they like explode into vanilla enemies. Big boy. Where are you? There you are. You're easy enough. Almost got a charge stuff. I'm trying to do all the excess rooms that I can, even though I know this is the wrong way. More charges means more familiars. And the thing is, like, it can give you some really good familiars, so it really shouldn't be slept on. Like, we could get Twisted Pair out of this, which I think is just incredible. Take care of you guys. Ooh, little ball boys. We got Ultra Flesh Kid. Sounds lovely. I'd like to meet him. I'm, I'm kind of scared of these little fellas. They seem really aggressive. Like, they kind of chill for a while and then they kind of come running at you. Okay, let's go and do some of the other rooms back this way first. I really want to try and garner as many charges as I can. Wait, Flesh, could are you the one that's going to eat all these red hearts? Because he seems to be pretty scared of them. Grow, my child, grow. Oh, God. This is a lot. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I just want to say, these guys that drop battery charges. That they are. Well, that was worth it. Very good, very nice. All these extra champions are actually pretty good for us, to be honest. Okay. We got another charge. Lil Devil. He's a cutie. We got like three charges this floor. Can be understated how good that is. Tried to get my secret room and he pushed it. Snake Eyes gave us another dice shard. Really into the dice shards recently. I like the fact that we've managed to keep our morbid heart all this time. I know we've had it protected for a lot of the run, but I'm still surprised we still have it. Also, that guy gave me another battery. Gotta love it. Ooh, um, thingy, Greg the Egg gave me a little dumpy. Now that is a good trade.
Give me that dumpy fella. That is such a good trade. Little dumpy is insanely good. Oh, we get the banger music as well. Hell yes. I will do this room for the single reason. For one, Bible touch to try and get a Seraphim. But yeah, for the single reason that we can get more charges out of doing this room. Oh, although I forgot putting putting your uh, thingy down resets the charges. Luckily, we didn't have a lot of charges already, so that didn't actually do anything to hurt us. But that could have been problematic. Right. Keep it going. Check out the secret room as well. While we're here, why not? You were a bit tricky. Uh, from the boss pool and from the planetarium. Oh my lord. That's pretty beautiful. I should be trying to give all these hearts to Ultra Flesh Kid whenever I can. The room over? The room is over. I think I just kept one of these guys as a as a friend. Whoa. I like these chain enemies as well, where they chain themselves to other entities. Like these guys look. That's really cool. It's a really like, interesting idea. Lost Fly. Not exactly the best, but we'll take it. Right, got this guy, mini boss. Give us an actual angel item this time, if you would. Maybe a sacred heart would be pretty, pretty tops. I'd also take a spirit heart, but I'd rather have an angel item. You always give me a spirit heart. Just once give me an angel item. You did, but it's an angel item I don't want. How could you? That is offensive to me. Oh my god, the ghosts. Burn hurting juice. Gimme, gimme. Okay, our free trials are over now, sadly. I really like the discs. The discs are a really good idea. I wonder if the discs work with clear room. Uh, I have heard they work with echo chamber, which sounds pretty awesome. Snake eyes again. Damage down. Fuck you. To be fair, I think overall it's been pretty positive what we've managed to gain from um, from Snake Eyes. I don't think we've lost too much. Some runs I've had with Snake Eyes has been really bad. You're really going to still brimstone that? I think that's going to work out for you, sir. Come on, sir. Just, just perish. There you go. Oh, fuck. The, them things are still active. Oh, God. I don't like some of these being champions. They scare me. Seeing a lot more champions as of late. Limpet's giving us some more stats. Limpet gives you a lot of stats per coin. It really does. Very strong. Obviously, I know that you can lose the stats. But even still, it's really good. And you gain stuff for losing the stats as well. It's not like you just lose them. Ooh, Soul of Cain. I'm going to get one more charge and then I'm going to swap to Soul of Cain, I think. Very little ghosties. Little Abaddon. Yeah, there we go. We got conjoined. Right, now we take this. Alright, we actually use this as well. Why not? Randy the Snail. Hell yes. You should also take this into the boss for now. Spawn three golden trinkets. I mean, that'd also be pretty good, but we'll just spawn that now. Increase damage to enemies close. Sh store an extra heart. Okay, let's take that one. That one seems good. There 
go. I'll limp it cracked. Right. Let's keep her going. Make sure we come back for that. The hemorrhage beam. Yeah, that's that's you pretty much taken care of, isn't it, sir? I like the snail. He's cute. Right. Sadly, where the charges are still 12, even though the solar cane's like a two-room charge. Um, the app. Damn it, the apple disappeared. That thing gave us a stat. It gave us a fucking tears down again. This game's rigged. I'm liking the snail. He seems to be very bouncy. You like shoot at him and he bounces around. Does Ultra Flesh Kid like evolve or something? Because he's, he's eating a lot of hearts and not evolved yet. Hey, Ghosties. Oh, hello. You're a boss, are you? I barely even noticed. Cursed. I think Cricket's body was a mistake. We have lagged the game quite the large amount. Also, this guy is just not dying. I feel like you should have been dead a while ago. It's over now. You see rooms like that? They go down so quick. Yeah, the lag is pretty bad. I'm probably not going to do um, Mega Satan now. Just because it's going to take us a while. Wasn't expecting it to be quite this laggy. What the hell enemy is left? There's more left? How? God damn. B-boss here. Yeah, it's definitely way too laggy to keep going. Cricket's body. Why do you do this to me? Tried to stand close to get the bonus damage. What are all you doing back over here? We actually got an item here. King Worm. Do not know what that does. On use grants the effect of a random worm trinket for the current room. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Basically useless. I also decharged my active again. Someone needs to make a mod to fix that bug. Maybe there already is one. There might even already be one. It's very annoying. <laughs> Giant cell. It makes like a little zappy sound when we're in the radius. Holy shit, that's a lot of homing shots. Come on, snail fella. I feel like I'm kind of bullying him, but his own fault. Damage down again? Come on now. Bullying him into a corner. Steam sale, thank you. So funny that you can get steam sale this late into the game. It's just like, why? Oh, they fixed Soul of Cain. It's no longer a two room charge. I don't know when they did that. It used to be a two room charge. Now it's a six room, which makes a lot more sense. It's still really strong, but. My god, this is painful. <laughs> We're playing at 20 FPS right now. An extra item here. Why not? Small rock. Just chilling. Small rock's just there. Doing its thing.
Right. Let's keep going back. I, I really want to find my boss, but I have no idea where it is. Crack the earth. I like the fact that it's cracked the sky and cracked the earth. That's fun. I feel like Sprinkler would be a recipe for disaster. Okay, you have died. There's going to be a lot of these things coming at me in a second, isn't there? Yep. I can see the eyes. The pits have eyes. Luckily, though, they can pass right by. You don't have to kill them all. We're getting a lot of chests. I suppose we have good luck, to be fair. We are getting a lot of actives, though. I'm surprised we haven't found our boss yet. Let's move this way. There it is. We found it. Again, why I like Spelunker's hat. Being able to see that extra room's worth of distance. It's really nice. It's a nice, like, overhaul and rework to it to make it a little more distinct. I've not fought you as a normal boss before, I don't think. Anyways, you're going down. You are down. Right, I think the boss fight is probably going to be fairly lengthy here. Daddy Longlegs is rather nice. One second. Right, sorry about that. Let's keep going. Let's do the boss. It's going to be a bit, a bit of a lengthy fight, I think. Go Snail. I really like the Snail. It's a really cool item. <laughs> it's like playing in slow motion. I like the coin just spawning all that shit. I'm trying to keep in the radius to deal the extra damage. I honestly think... I, I don't actually know what's going on. Are we, like, destroying his shots or something? So we don't have shielded tears, so I don't know how. Maybe it's just because we've got Pluto, so we're going under them all. So I'm like, how am I not getting hit right now? But I'll accept it for what it is. Either way, there you go. We have bested him. That is the run over. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.